All right, so what we've got here is two BMW CAS modules. So this is our, what we're, well, what we're trying to achieve here is we're trying to clone this original CAS module over to a donor module. Now we do have different part numbers, but I believe it's a superseded part. Um, our chips and the boards and everything are the same. So we should be able to clone this data from the original CAS over to a donor CAS. Um, that way we won't have to program and fit to new keys to this unit and program the donor unit to the car. So this is for another trade shop. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna follow our connection diagrams and we're gonna hook up to this CAS unit. We're gonna read all the original data from this original CAS unit that I've marked as original. Um, and we're gonna transfer that, hook up obviously to the donor one, transfer that data from this module to that unit and hopefully all is good. All right, so we're all hooked up following our connection diagram, as you can see there. A little bit of fiddling, but we're on. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the original, or take a read from this original module, and then we're gonna reconnect to that one, providing this read verifies good and transfer the data. All right, so that's our EEPROM dump read from this CAS module. As you can see, that's all our data there. Um, I've verified that read as well, so that is reading fine. So we're gonna save this, we're gonna read the flash and then transfer over to this unit. All right, this is our flash reading now. It's much, much slower just because there's a lot more data involved in reading the flash out of that MCU than there is in reading the EEPROM. So we'll let that do its thing, then we're gonna verify and as I said before, get working on the donor. All right, so as with anything uh, electrical, anything sort of PCB related, a good connection is key, especially when you're reading data from a microprocessor. So all I use to clean up these points of contact, so like where our VCC pin goes there or our ground goes here, is a little fiberglass pen. Um, so we use a little bit of alcohol, fiberglass pen, and just very, very gently rub that component just because bmw coat these boards in this lacquer so as you can see it's got like a, a shiny lacquer on it so we want to take as much of that off as we can so we get a good solder joint when we connect to these points um, and obviously that means that we get a, a good reliable read of data to work with because if we get a corrupt read from you know our original module flash that into this one then we're you know technically up the creek because it's not gonna get us anywhere. All right, so what we've got going on here is our donor module is hooked up. We have, I have actually read the data in this module if we ever did for whatever reason have to restore it to how it was bought, we can. Um, we've got full backup of both the EEPROM and the flash data in that MCU. And now we are, I've already written the EEPROM and we're writing back the flash. So this is a long-ish process compared to writing an EEPROM or something smaller. As you can see, it's slowly creeping over, eight, 9%, etc. cetera. So once that flash is written, we can reassemble these modules and then we're gonna to have to test them in the vehicle.